guys, I'm in a predicament. You knew about the phone, the new Huawei P30 Pro that I bought. I've had it for about three days, and up until this morning, Instagram was glitching, like bad. And you know, Instagram stories are a big part of my life. So I decided to buy a new phone. Enter the S21 Ultra 5G. So I have that phone in my hands, but now my P30 Pro is working. So I'm in a bit of a predicament. Do I upgrade to the S21 or do I keep using this phone? Introducing, oh hang on. <laughs> Introducing, you like that? The Samsung S21 Ultra. Are you sure you want to open this phone? Yes. So, I don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it because I bought the phone now, so there's no point not using it. Um, according to all the specs, it's a better phone than the the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Uh, the first thing I noticed is the box is a lot skinnier than we've been seeing um, with phones lately. Obviously, that's going to improve the efficiency of the freight of these guys. Now, it's all black. The camera area is quite um, interesting. It really um, protrudes, and I'm guessing that's designed for a cover to sit there and kind of it's all finished. But um, the reason I had to buy a new phone was because I damaged the camera on my old phone. So it's going to be interesting to see how well protected they are with a with a new cover. The physical size compared to the, the Huawei slightly bigger. Um, but nothing, you know, ridiculous. That's the back. That's obviously got a cover on it. I might take that off actually. Oh god, that's all good. So there's the back. Now this isn't a comparison video. I just wanted to kind of show you what comes in the box and then we'll start setting this up. So all the standard stuff. Hang on a second. Is there a charge cable? There is a charge cable, but no transformer so obviously oh and it's USB-C to USB-C so obviously they're at a point now where they just go well the lease you know what blows me away this phone's nearly 2000 Australian dollars and it doesn't even come with a bloody power phone but it does come with a charging port which I don't think that uh, entry level Samsung will do so we'll turn this on see if it needs some charge and we'll guess that it probably does hmm I'm not sure I was meant to press that button. I think I got a bit button happy there. So I'm going to leave my SIM card in my Huawei for the moment, and then I'm just going to do a bit of a phone clone to start with and test Instagram on the Wi-Fi here and see if it uh, glitches out. So last night the uh, phone updated, and it updated the actual operating software of the phone, and maybe there was a patch in there. I don't know, uh, but it seems to have fixed it. Regardless, I've spent the money on this phone, so I'm just going to buy, uh, just transfer it across, and then I'll give the old phone to one of my staff, uh, Mr. Matt Irving, you know, Matt from Ask Irvo. Yep, done that. Done that. Cool. Now what? USB connector and cable, so I've done it. I've done it. What is going on? Why is this not working? How do you want to connect cable? Connect your new Galaxy phone and your old device with cable. Yeah, I've done that. All right, let's do this. Come on. So I bought the phone from Harvey Norman. Um, I bought it because I had some vouchers there that I needed to use. Um, and it made it easy. It was around the corner from Dry Creek and it was an hour before they closed. Uh, this is the only cover that they had available that fit the phone, I just wanted to buy something to protect it. Uh, this is a clear plastic cover. I love how now it kills 99% of germ, of germs, like that's a thing now. What about all the germs that existed before? Oh no, that's different now. All right. Both devices will need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. Should be hard. Let's go, all right, transfer your data, wireless, wireless. Connecting your old data. So I think you just have to make sure that you have both apps open at the same time for that to work. Searching for nearby devices. All right, starting to transfer data. There you go. Let's go.
Oh, what did that say? It's interesting I'm getting angry at it. Usually, you know, this could take a long time um, in a different time. And it's really not that bad when you think about it. Are we done? Done transferring, that was quick. So that was a lot quicker than doing it over Wi-Fi. That's all been transferred over. So now, I haven't had a face recognition one before. I'm gonna set up a pin first. Where are all my apps, baby? Oh, now I have to reorganize my apps. So, that was me um, very simply transferring all of my data from a Huawei Mate 30 Pro across to a Samsung S21 Ultra 5G. Um, the, the Huawei's a good phone, and I'm, I've had a lot of them. Like we've, I've had two, two, uh, two Mate 20 Pros, and now I've got the 30. They're great, but I'm just concerned that there's something going on there. Like for Instagram to be glitching out, and then me to make a big deal. I mean, and you start reading into too much things, and you go crazy. But I, I went and tagged Huawei in a post, and then went and bought a Samsung phone, and then the next day it stopped doing it. But the Samsung is a two thousand dollar phone, like I said. Um, there's no point me having a better phone than the Huawei and not using it. So I think I would be happy with either. Uh, and then I'll now report back to you on how the Samsung goes comparatively, but I have a new phone. Hopefully my Instagrams are smooth and appealing.